In this video, we will review how to process a payment for a loan using an electronic check, also referred to as an e-check. You must first access the loan. Then, select the Payments tab. Once on the Payments page, you can either log a manual payment by selecting Log Payment, a debit or credit card payment by selecting Debit, an electronic check by selecting e-check, or an electronic check for Canada by selecting EFT. In this video, we will select eCheck. If your merchant service settings are set correctly, you will be redirected to this page. Cash drawer. If you're utilizing the cash drawer tool, you can select from the cash drawer options to deposit the funds into this drawer. Amount. Enter the amount to be processed. Amount quick pay. This field gives you a series of pre-calculated payment amounts. They include Amount Due, Next, and Full. Full is calculated by taking the Amount Due plus the next scheduled payment amount. Service Fee If you desire to charge a service fee, you can either charge a flat fee or a percentage. If you want to waive the fee, select Waive Service Fee. Payment date. The date you want the payment to apply towards the loan. Info. This field is used as an additional note field to use at your discretion. This field will autofill with the current date if left alone. Type of payment. This field allows you to select which waterfall application you would like to use for the payment. The most commonly used options are regular and principal. Please note that when making a selection in this field, a description of the new payment type will populate under the Waterfall Application header. Payment Information Now we need to select the payment method. You can choose a one-time payment, create a new payment method, or select from payment methods that have been saved in the past. If you choose a one-time payment, you'll enter in the bank information, and after it's been processed, the information will not be saved. If you choose Create New Payment Method, once the payment is processed, the payment method will be added to the payment method saved on file. In this example, we'll choose one that's already saved on file. Now that the information is added, we'll select Process Payment. You will now be served with a Payment Authorization window. Please note that this Payment Authorization window can be edited in the company settings. After you have read this information to your borrower, Simply select OK. Congratulations, your e-check has been submitted. Please note that depending on your merchant service provider, it may take a few days to have the funds drafted. To view statistics on the payment made, simply select the payment. If you'd like to print a receipt, you can either select the Google Cloud Print or select the PDF icon to print a physical receipt.